like, he always scores these. <laughs> I was losing it because he does. He's one of the most prolific finishers ever. We've had that argument on this podcast, and, like, there's not many people on their day that I'm picking to, to bag a, one on, a, a 1v1 with a keeper. He's just going to do it. Um, yeah, and so, yeah. my thoughts when Nico Jackson are the complete opposite. So, Dude. Well, <laughs> he misses <laughs> these. He misses these. He always yeah. misses these. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, Dude. Yeah. So it's nice to have that, and and it just helps that he's like the nicest guy in world football, and literally everyone loves him. It just makes it's a it's a feel good thing. No, it's a feel good thing. He's friends with everyone. He always is signing kits for the traveling Korean fans, and and man, I'm not gonna lie to you. There's been so many of those guys. Every time you look in the crowd, you, you get like six Korean fans with Korean yeah. flags and like. It's cool. We're, we're more of a we're more of a global club than I think Spurs have been in my lifetime, and and I think a lot of people in Europe would say too. The, the reach has gotten so much farther. Now let's just you know translate that into wins. 